guys. Uh, so in this video, uh, let's prove some uh, interesting results. Basically, uh, you guys may hear it or you may not hear. Okay, so uh, this result is that uh, uh, 1 over p, where each p is prime, if you sum over 1 over p, that uh, this series must diverge. Okay, so uh, so let me talk about uh, two consequences. The first consequence is that if you know 1 over p, sum of 1 over p will diverge, then sum of 1 over n must diverge. Uh, because the uh, sum of 1 over n is greater than sum of uh, 1 over p. Okay, so 1 over p is like 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 5, 1 divided by 7, and you add it. Okay, the second is that uh, if you know 1 over p, summation of 1 over p will diverge, then uh, definitely there are infinite primes, right? Because if there are finite primes, uh, if there are finite primes, then 1 over p will converge. Okay, so definitely if you know 1 over p will diverge, sum of 1 over p will diverge, then there will be infinite primes. Okay, so uh, let's give uh, two proofs. Okay, so the first proof is the first proof is very standard. Basically, I think it's discovered by Euler. Okay, so let's talk about uh, right. If you know about the harmonic series, that uh, one over two, one over three, keep going. Then you know that uh, since each uh, positive integer has unique prime factorization, so we can write this one plus a half, one plus a four, one over one plus a, one over three, one plus nine, one over nine, and one plus one over five. Da, da, da. So this is one plus one over uh, pi plus 1 plus pi square plus, plus something okay so uh, this guy right this guy is this so you can product all of this right so this is a product of this okay so uh, amazingly all these are uh, pi square right each and a pi to cube so all of these pi to the cube pi to the third uh, in pi cube uh, pi square can be uh, bounded by a Let's say use a big old notation, right? So these terms can be as can be expressed as exponential one over pi plus this a big O one over pi square. So this big O one over pi square means that these terms bounded by some constant times a uh, uh, one over pi square. Okay, so this is an infinite. Pro uh, this is a product, right? So I can I should say this n to be infinity. So this thing is one over summation one over pi plus a uh, summation i from n uh, O of one over pi square. Okay, no, but we, I know that 1 of pi square summation 1 of pi square will be less than 1 of n square. So n from 1 to infinity. So this is a famous pi square divided by 6. So this term, uh, this term will converge. Right, but L, but right hand side diverge. Right, so this means that this guy must be diverged. Okay, so this is the uh, first proof of the order. Okay, and the second proof that I want to talk about is use the density argument. Okay, and this argument is somehow less uh less common uh if you less common because I I guess sell, uh, seldom people know about analytic numbers theory. So this kind of swimming is somehow using the analytic numbers theory idea. Okay, so let's talk about density argument. So let a k to be set of natural numbers such that does not uh, divided by the first k primes. So a k is a set of natural numbers does not divided by uh first k primes. Okay. So uh, we know that a k has density uh, i from k, 1 minus 1 over pi. OK, so for example, uh, let's say a1. OK, so a1 is a set of natural number that's not divided by 2. OK, so a1 has density what? A1 is just all odd number, right? So if you take a very large set of integers, then the number of the number of the odd number, uh, the number of odd number in that set of integers will be half. Right, the density will be half. Okay, so a one has a density half, right? And uh, if you a two, then it's basically this number do not divide by two and do multiply by three, right? So it's basically, if you choose six of them, then you can see oh, definitely there are uh, let's see, there are uh, two of them, right? Because so the density will be one over three. Okay, so the density has uh, i from k one minus one over pi. Okay, so let's say denote this bracket n to be a set of one to up to n, and then let me talk about that. So this is a density definition. Okay, so that means that uh, if you do the intersection at a k uh, intersection with n and it's divided by n, right? This will be this. So this is a density uh, uh, the definition of density, right? But we know that when k a equals to infinity, that means that uh, we are going to ask about a set of natural number that's not divided by all the primes. So a k will approach to a set. Right, uh, which only has the one element called one, right? Because 
only so one is not divided by any prime number, right? So but uh, any other number will divide by some prime number. So it will be one. So that means when k equals to infinity, density must goes to zero. Right? So this ki from k one over one minus pi, k goes to infinity must be zero. Okay? And the same reason this guy can be written exponential least plus this big O. Okay, so re easy reason says that uh, this guy is converged, so this guy must be infinity. If this guy guys is not infinity, it's finite, then it, then you will have some finite density. But once you have some finite density, then A K will be finite. Okay, so uh, I think this density ar argument is so amazingly that uh, it can it can give you the the same. Uh, this can give you this result that the sum over one over P I is infinite. So the most beautiful thing is in this part that you know that density must go to zero. And this density goes to zero uh, will enforce this one over pi i from one to infinity goes to infinity. Ah, okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.